the Winnipeg Jets are such a wagon this year. Like, I'm still not able to comprehend it. Like, like, how is this the exact same team from last season? How? Paul Maurice, what did you do to this team? I need to know. But God damn it, Rick Bonus, you are an absolute gem. And my God, what a game. Jets win 5-2 in which was a really, really good game because it showcased why this team is so much better than where they were last year. And the fight in this team this year, oh, it's just so good. So what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Recap Reactions for game 25 out of 82 for the Jets 2022, 2020, or 2020, yeah, 2022, 2023 season. Excuse me, jumping ahead there a little bit. Back to the future? Nah, we're going to the future. Uh, but nonetheless, though, let's talk about this game. Because this was a great game where the Jets just really, you know, played well. Like, they battled back at times. Like, the Jets didn't dominate this game entirely. They didn't, you know, own the St. Louis Blues tonight. Because St. Louis was able to battle back at times and play good, effective hockey against the Jets. And the Jets made mistakes tonight. They didn't play great hockey in the start of this first period. I would say the first 10 minutes of that first period was almost all St. Louis. Uh, not to mention the fact that Sacramento Lion gets hurt in that first 10 minutes as well and does not return with a upper body injury. So that's going to be something to watch in the coming days uh, in the news stories cycle. Uh, hopefully he will be okay and not out long term. Really like Sacramento Lion. Really like the way that his game has been going the last couple uh, few few weeks, I would say. I think he's really starting to find himself and it sucks because I really liked him down there with Adam Lowry I know advanced stats doesn't say that but uh I am so I don't know I, I really liked him down there and it just sucks to see him get out so wishing him the absolute best hopefully it's not a long-term thing but yeah the Blues really dominated the play for the first 10 minutes more shots more opportunity uh better passing they just looked like the more awake team and the Jets eventually woke up and played great hockey that last 10 minutes of that first period was all Jets hockey in my opinion and uh you know they end up getting the only goal that first from Pierre-Luc Dubois gets his 12th from Logan Stanley and Mark Shifley yes you heard me right Logan Stanley finally Finally jumps back in the lineup after missing, I believe, 18 games since dating back to October. Uh, the boy is back. The pylon is back. And yeah, yeah, he was pretty much a pylon all night tonight. But everyone's going to say he was good because he put up a secondary assist. So good on you. I still think it's blasphemy that they took out Dylan Sandberg, especially after the rough patch he went through and how good and improved he's played the last three games, I would say. So sucks to see Sandberg get out, especially after he scores his NHL uh, first NHL goal. But... You know, I guess Stanley's got to play to get his trade value up because I don't see a future with him on this in this blue line. And yeah, you know, tonight he was whatever out there. Weak shots, not really good anywhere, you know, just a nothing defenseman. So I'm getting that out there early. Logan Stanley stealing Dylan Sandberg's spot. Blasphemy. Don't agree with it. And uh, yeah, he wasn't very good tonight. He didn't even though he got the secondary assist, but he also wasn't terrible, so... That's the end of the Logan Stanley arc for tonight. But yeah, uh, other than that, though, really good first period after, like I said, the Jets, you know, not playing the best hockey. They battle back and they are able to play effectively against St. Louis in that first period and, you know, jump ahead and get that first goal. So it's one nothing into the first per end of the first pre period. Excuse me. Jets are playing good hockey right now. Things are looking good. Like I said, they're battling back. They're playing for their, you know, the guy sitting next to him on the bench. This really feels like a completely new team, even though it's not. And it's great. You, you got to give credit to Rick Bonus, you know, like St. Louis and the way that we played and just in general against central division opponents. It, we've almost won every matchup, if I'm not mistaken. Like, we've been so good uh, in the Central. Not to mention if I'm all, the, the amount of goals we scored. I believe it's over 35 goals in the last seven games the Jets have scored. Uh, insane numbers, especially when you look back last year and see how many high-scoring games we had. I'll tell you right now, spoiler alert, wasn't that many. Uh, but... This year is complete opposite. You've got offensive numbers coming from everywhere. The team right now is just playing great. Josh Morris, he's out there playing great. Uh, I gotta check right now to see if he even got a point tonight. He did. Morris he gets eight assists on the uh, primary assist on the set third on the second period of Dubois goal in the third period. Uh, but this whole team is just playing amazing hockey right now. Dylan DeMello is playing great. You know, Axel Johnson uh, Johnson Vigelby is playing great hockey right now as a depth guy. I, I, I notice him out there constantly. Like, how many years has it been since we've actually had a noticeable, you know, bottom six? We're like, they actually are out there doing the little things that Kevin Sawyer always used to talk about that you never used to see. And now you see it. You see these plays that they're making, and they're playing good hockey. I don't care what the advanced stats right now says on that. Everyone on this cl club right now knows their role, and they're playing to it perfectly. Like, it, this is a, a well-oiled machine right now. That's what the Jets are. And they're not even healthy yet. Like, they're not going to need shit at the trade deadline this year, really. If once, if Especially with Ehlers coming back and he's able to, you know, maintain where he was uh, last season at the start of this season with that one game or whatever. But 
like they are just going to get so much talent back with these injuries. You get Appleton coming back. You've got guys right now that are playing insane. Mikey Eastmont gets an assist tonight. He's been everywhere on the ice uh, since he's made his debut this season. It's just nonstop. Everywhere you look, you're getting effective hockey from every player on this team. And that's exact opposite of what we got last year. Like, look at Mark Scheifele. Look at, you know, look at Blake Wheeler. Who the hell saw this coming from Blake Wheeler? The play from Blake Wheeler. It's been incredible. Blake Wheeler gets an amazing goal in that second period on the power play. An immaculate passing play there by the Jets on a perfect power play. Not to mention the fact that Kyle Connor gets his 11th of the season uh, to start the second period off 27 seconds into it. So the Jets already dominating play to start that second period. Blake Wheeler gets that killer power play goal uh, not very long after. Three and a half minutes after. Jets, all Jets hockey. The only thing is that Robert Thomas gets a goal in the last minute and a half of that second period. And even then, it's like, oh, whoop de doo Jets are still playing great hockey, and the momentum didn't really shift. You just had consistently good hockey from the Jets after that first period. And when they had, you know, areas where, you know, St. Louis was able to come on, play effectively, even though the Jets were doing their best defensively, they still were able to play good. You know, they, they didn't collapse tonight at all. I don't care what you say about the goals being scored when they were um, it, with this 5-2. I, 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 it, was, it was effective hockey when they needed to be effective. And they, they played for each other. And that's just something that I'm not used to seeing from the Jets. It's so exciting and refreshing. Third period starts up after a great second period. Dubois gets a great goal. His second of the night. Dubois' 13th of the season. He's chasing uh, Shifley right now for league leader on the team. Uh, Cole Perfetti gets his fifth of the season on the empty netter. Again, Wheeler getting more assists. Uh, Blake Wheeler, how many points did he have? Uh, Two-point night from Blake Wheeler, goal and assist. Like, the renaissance season we are seeing from Blake Wheeler right now is insane. He's playing some of the best hockey I've seen from him in a long time, and I chalk a lot of it up to a better locker room. Uh, the fact that he doesn't have to wear the C anymore and deal with that pressure that Paul Maurice was always obviously putting on him by the way everything was structured in there, and that's the only thing that makes sense at this point. It's not speculation because you're seeing the evidence. A team that role is that bad last year, keep everything the same going into this year. The only thing you change is a coach, and they're first in the Central. Yeah, Paul Maurice was the problem, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I think have Blake Wheeler getting that C stripped off him was the best thing that could have happened to his career. He looks great out there. I definitely don't want to see him leave. He's playing effective hockey anywhere in the lineup. When he's played on this new uh, this line with Perfetti, with uh, Shifley, he's played well. When he played at the start of the year with Dubois on the second line, he was playing well. He's just been great in the top six this year on the power play as well at times. When you use Wheeler in the right spot, what do you know? He's still an effective hockey player. Like I've been saying for years, it's the fact that Paul Maurice and his stubbornness wouldn't adapt to Wheeler's age and his, uh, how, his, how his game changed. Now you're seeing Bonus do that, and he's thriving again. So this team is just so much fun to watch. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I don't even care about the Josh Levo goal. Uh, it doesn't matter because the Jets continue to play well and score the empty netter when they needed to. They win this game 5-2. Standings are great. You're still first in the Central, uh, not to mention the fact that it is uh, right now overtime, four minutes left in overtime for the Ottawa Senators-Dallas Stars game. If the Jets win this game tonight, that is huge for the standings. So go, Ottawa, go right now. Uh, we will see what happens. It could literally end any second, but yeah. Things are looking great right now. If you're a Jets fan, you can't do nothing but smile and look forward to the future. Ehlers is going to be coming back, and that's going to make this team even better. The depth's playing great. You got Brad Lambert down the, in the pipeline, not to mention how good Rutger McGordy's been playing lately as well. The prospects look good. Connor Hellebuck is a god. I didn't even talk about him tonight because he's just so good that you just... You know, like you don't even realize how good he is until you really like watch him play and the little things like... My God, Connor Hellebuck is probably not only a generational goalie, he is a once-in-a-lifetime goalie, I think. I think this is one of the best goalies we've seen in a very long time, and by the end of his career, you're going to see him at near the top of the uh, all-time wins list and stuff like that. He is just incredible. But the Jets right now, who would have thought? Can't wait to see what's going to be happening, and definitely looking forward. Next matchup, if I'm not mistaken, is on Saturday. I'm going to check right now, because you know me. I always forget to do these things uh, before I start recording. Yeah, next game is Friday, excuse me, tomorrow. Back to back, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, look forward to another video, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see me making some content very soon. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow for December 9th. Uh, I don't know when that video will be up, but it'll be up at some point. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity as always. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Check all the affiliate links down in the description below. Thanks for watching this game. Don't really know what else to say about it other than, wow, Jets are here. David Gustafson's a beast defensively. Got to point that out as well. But yeah, things are looking great right now to be a Jets fan. 5-2 dominant performance over the St. Louis Blues. 
I'm happy with it. I bet you are too. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the recap reaction for Chicago. Have a great rest of your night. Peace and positivity always. Go Jets go.